News Channel honors the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Impact segment tonight, disturbing case of the two kidnapped boys in Missouri. As you know, police found 15-year-old Sean Hornback in an apartment of 41-year-old Michael Devlin last week, along with 13-year-old Ben Ownby. Both boys had allegedly been kidnapped by Devlin, who ran a pizza place in the town of Kirkwood. Sean had been missing for four years, and the question is, why didn't he escape when he could have? There are all kinds of theories about that. Joining us now from Washington, Greta Van Susteren, who had been out to Missouri reporting on the case. All right. Um, you know, the Stockholm Syndrome thing, I don't buy it. I've never bought it. I didn't think it happened in a Patty Hearst case. I don't think it happened here. Too late well, developments. Uh, can I just say, yeah, just can I say right one thing in response to that? Is sure. that, first of all, you know, we don't know exactly, we don't know all the facts, but don't forget that Elizabeth Smart likewise had an opportunity to leave and did not. She was on the public street for some reason when, when young people are picked up and taken under the influence of adults, uh, they are very receptive of what the adults do. So I would not so quickly dismiss the Stockholm. And remember, he was a kid when he was picked up, he's 11. Okay, um, but the difference in the Smart case, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that this guy was always hovering around uh, the little girl, and she wasn't gone for the uh, long period of time as this uh, guy was. Now, what we have learned, and this is why I don't believe in the Stockholm Syndrome, is that this guy, Sean Hornbeck, gone four years, 11 to 15, authorities actually say he taunted his own parents on their website. He, uh, you know, has got the piercings. He's, I mean, this is a troubled kid. In I, my went, I went to, I went to the piercings. I mean, look, a lot of kids pier do piercings and don't do things like that. As far as the taunting goes on the website, I think what can be established is that I, I, that someone on this particular login taunted the parents. Now, was it done from this particular computer? If it was done from this particular computer, then that means either Michael Devlin did it, Sean did it, or someone with access to the computer. All right, well, that's, that's, but, but that's I think good. That, that's a good but, point. But he's also, I mean, let, let, let's not forget, he's a kid. He no. may be 15 now. I'm not, but I'm not buying this. If, okay. you're, if you're 11 years old or 12 years old, 13, and you have a strong bond with your family, okay, even if the guy threatens you this and that, you're riding your bike around, you got friends, the kid didn't go to school, there's all kinds of stuff. If you can get away, you get away. All right, you're 11. What, Bill, it seems bizarre to me. I agree. It seems bizarre. Why not run? Why not yell? Why not scream? But the thing that I keep going back to is that why, you know, what was Patty Hearst's story? I mean, you know, why did she... I didn't why buy was that Patty Hearst story well, for a second. Why, why was she so willing to sort of, you know, uh, to sign up with her, her uh, kidnappers? And likewise, Elizabeth Smart, you know, she had opportunity. Nice kid, uh, nice let family. Let me answer your why question. Why did she, why let me was she unwilling question. to run? This yeah. is what I believe happened in the Hearst case and in this case. The situation that Hearst found herself in was exciting. She had a boring life. She was a child of privilege. All of a sudden, she's in with a bunch of charismatic thugs, and she enjoyed it. The situation here for this kid looks to me to be a lot more fun than what he had under his old parents. He didn't have to go to school. He'd run around, do whatever he wanted. Some kids like school. What? Some kids like school. Well, I don't believe this kid did. Um, and, and I think when it all comes down, what's going to happen is there was an element here that this kid liked about his circumstance. Now, well, right, let's, it let's gets even, Petty Hearst for one second. It gets I mean, even I, more harrowing uh, when the police announced today that they found child porn on Devlin's computer, the alleged Devlin's computer. Devlin's got a problem. He, he's, a, he's a weirdo, and he's facing serious criminal charges, and he's probably a criminal. Um, it certainly at least points in that direction. But let's go back to Patty Hearst. You know, this was more exciting. I don't know. I'd rather be, uh, live in a family where I have lots of uh, opportunity You're to play cops logically. and robbers with the kidnapping. You're thinking logically. Well, but, but, Neurotic but people the, are susceptible to this so kind you, of you're stuff. Pl you're applying that same sort of thinking to this 11-year-old to 15-year-old, you're thinking logically. You think to yourself, why didn't he leave? That's what most people think, frankly. I had that thought as well. But I think you've got to remember that this is a child. He doesn't have, you know, it, for whatever reason, he may have, you know, wanted to be with his kidnapper. Maybe his kidnapper turned out to be, quote, a nice guy or whatever. But this is a kid, Bill. And I think we've got to wait till we get all the facts. All right. It may turn out, you may turn out to be right. I usually I do. Know. I usually, uh, <laughs> that usually is what happens. Especially if when you're I'm the wrong, jury. If I'm wrong, <laughs> Greta, I'll, you know, we'll play this tape and uh, you'll get your points. I, at this point, I simply don't know, but I, I'll, I'll wait for the facts. All right.